Well there guys, welcome everybody and welcome to the Chase True Fall Slot Trivia Show. I'm Genevieve and happy to see you join us for a chance to weekly share our grand prize, 500 British pounds in cash. Well, seems like you all made it in time, so uh, basically that's the best part of tonight's show. You just simply have to be here on time. The entry is totally for free. So tonight's topic is general knowledge, and we have prepared 10 statements for you. We have two possible options to choose from. You're going to see the video in front of your screen, true or false, and you just simply have to click on the option you think is the right one. And if you do that correctly, you're going to be rewarded with 100 points for each correct statement. Well, basically, you need to earn at least 700 points to qualify for tonight's grand prize. Equally shared 500 British pounds in cash. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess nothing much left to do as wish you best of luck. And most importantly, of course, let's have some great time together. And some of you joining us right now, guys, feel free to start our show over here. So here we go. First statement, good luck to you. The United Nations headquarters are in London. True or false? What do you think? Well, surely hope easy peasy first 100 points are going to be yours. But no worries, if you missed that first statement, you can still manage to qualify. You need to earn at least 700 points. All right, so ready to find out? Let's see, that first statement is false one. Actually, the United uh, Nations headquarters are in Manhattan Island. So it seems like uh, 190 fun if you got that correctly. First 100 points of yours. All right, let's move forward. Here comes the second statement. Climate change campaigner Greta Thunberg is from Germany. True or false? What do you think? Well, I'm pretty sure we have heard about uh, this lady a lot. So is her from Germany? Oh, thank you guys. Lovely to see you over there. Thanks for joining. All right, so let's see. This statement is a false one as well. She's actually Swedish. So 164 of you got another 100 points over here. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. So let's move forward for the third statement of the show. Good luck, everyone. The 2024 Summer Olympics will take place in Paris. True or false? Well, I think a pretty easy one. Well, 2024 All Summer Olympics. All right, let's find out, ladies and gentlemen, this statement obviously is true. Congratulations, nearly everybody earning those 100 points for the third statement of the show. All right, so let's go further. Here comes the fourth statement and hopefully as well earns 100 points. Here we go. Skoda cars were originally made in Sweden. True or false? Well, any of you owning Skoda, perhaps you know from which country this brand originates. I ain't started yet. Well, I hope you didn't miss this one because for basically your final chance to qualify for that night grand prize. Well, ladies and gents, this statement is going to be a false one. So congratulations if you got that correctly. They actually originate from Czechia. So 135 of you got that right. Good job. Let's go. KLM is the national airline of the Netherlands. True or false? What do you think? KLM, national airline of the Netherlands. Well, we're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, this statement, what do you think? Could be true or false? I'm pretty sure it's um, Royal National Dutch Airlines. True statement indeed. So congratulations, 187 of you answering that one correctly as well. Well, we're basically halfway through. Five more statements of the show. Well, here we go for the sixth one. Art Deco design is associated with the 1960s. True or false? Well, are you familiar with Art Deco? And was it around this time? What do you think? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's find out. Is this statement true or false? 
And uh, seems like Art Deco was around 1920s, early 30s. So this statement is false one. 143 of you answering correctly and 100 points are yours. All right, here we go. Maybe some of you just missing one other 100 points to qualify. The bubonic plague was brought to Europe in the Middle Ages by rats. True or false? Ooh, this plague definitely, um, yeah, wasn't a great time to be around, I suppose. The bubonic plague was brought to Europe in the Middle Ages by rats. Well, this statement, ladies and gents, is indeed true. So, yeah, nearly everybody got out correctly. Congratulations. And who knows, maybe some of you already qualified for the grand prize, earning 700 points. So good job to you. Congrats. All right, three more statements. Let's go. Game of Thrones is set in the fictional continent of Northland. True or false? All the Game of Thrones fans, I'm pretty sure you might know the correct answer. Well, in the show, it was definitely quite frequently mentioned. Was it Northland, though? All right, let's find out. This statement is false. Well, I do believe it was Seven Kingdoms of Vesteros and continent of Essos. So 151 of you got out correctly. And we have two more statements. Let's wait, let's wait no time. Here we go. The country of Ghana was set up by free African slaves. True or false? Any idea? Was country of Ghana set up by free African slaves? Well, if we would have some kind of options to give us a hint over here, I'm pretty sure I would use one. But hopefully, easy 100 points for you. So let's find out. This statement is false one. And seems like it was a bit difficult for you as well, guys. Well, 73 of you, though, smart cookies, answering correctly and earning 100 points. Well, if you're just missing one of your 100 points, here's your final chance. Final statement. Barack Obama's wife was called Melanie. True or false? Well, Barack Obama's wife was called Melanie. Well, definitely influential um, a woman, gotta say. So, yeah, I think I see the right answer in the chat box. So, let's find out. Ladies and gents, uh, this statement is false. Surely she was called Michelle. So, congratulations. Nearly everybody got that correctly. And seems like we do have 160 lucky players earning at least 700 points or more. So, all of you are lucky winners of tonight's show earning equally shared 500 British pounds in cash and 10 smart cookies answering correctly to every single question of tonight's show. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to check out The Chase Alive for some more Sunday evening fun. And surely can't wait to see you again real soon. Until then, take care, stay awesome, and good night. Bye-bye.